ಮಗ್ಯಾನತಿರಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ ಉನ್ಮಿಲಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪಕ್ಕದಾಮಯ್ಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿಕ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬರ್ತ್ some of the other the nature of the world the way the lord has created the world everything that comes in our life and every relationship that comes in our life somehow is the source of a lot of miseries and a little so called pleasure this is how the whole situation is created we have children or we get married and we go to a new neighborhood so why what happens uh, with these activities when we uh, give birth to children new relations come up because a new soul has come in as your child as your nephew as your brother's son or sister's son or your whatever when you get married also a new relationship comes your husband comes in your life wife comes in your life in laws come in your life and so many other equations change and we go to a new house then new set of people become your neighbors and new settings new house so there are things and there are relationships but only initially these things give us pleasure when the new born child comes when you are newly married or go to a new house after some time immediately the troubles start sometimes we call them as teething troubles <laughs> but they do do come in the middle of so called happiness and everything in the material world that we are connected with is a potential thing to give us miseries potentially it gives us miseries and sometimes it gives us happiness and that happiness is also true not that it's not true but when that happiness comes then kala the time factor disconnects it from us that means suppose i love my child i love my wife i love my husband i love my relatives and daily they are good and they are source of my pleasure they have given me so much happiness in life but one day they leave us in the form of death in the form of some uh, transfer to one place to another or in the form of whatever so time factor it is very powerful in the material world in the sense it takes away the things what you have and what you are attached to all the things that you are attached to do not give us long term pleasure or not stay with us for long time the same child which gave us so much joy to us now in this child has grown up a 25 year old boy then only troubles and trouble and troubles and rebellion and fighting and this and that and oh i loved this child so much now this child has become source of my misery my tension my frustration my only worry in life is this child now <laughs> the wife who a husband a wife or relatives who i got married to so much joy they gave me now they are the only cause of my miseries right now so these are the facts of life whether you accept it or not 
and sometimes and most of the times we don't accept it because these are close people or closely attached things like house as a thing or husband wife or child as people and sometimes our egos uh, do not allow us to accept that yes these are the sources of my misery that we are attached to them so what do we do we do we go to psychiatrists we go to counselors we go to financial consultants we go to marriage cons- counselors we go to so many people to solve our miseries but any of the materially attempted solution comes up with so many other side effects of miseries like uh, saintly people say any solution in the material world is another problem so it gets very complicated and the true solution or true freedom from the misery does not take place and what is the problem we are looking for true happiness in this life as spirit souls we are always looking for true genuine long term long lasting happiness so this is the big paradox we want but we don't get we want but we don't get so the scriptures say and we have said it umpteen number of times here we are just saying the same thing in a different way this time the scriptures say that only a permanent thing can give you permanent pleasure any temporary thing cannot give you permanent pleasure and any permanent thing cannot give you temporary pleasure temporary things give temporary pleasure permanent things give permanent pleasure and if you want permanent pleasure then you have to get attached to a permanent thing only eternal thing only and that permanent and eternal thing is the lord and with the lord's holy name or with the lord's uh, katha the lord's seva with the lord's devotees association with the lord's holy abode dham where lord resides and perform past times these things only can give you long lasting eternal pleasure that your and my soul is seeking desiring hankering for so um, however whatever we do the reality remains that okay we have lost a dear one or lost a property or lost a relationship with someone dear one all these things will remain they they will not change the material world is out here to give you pain and krishna is out here to give you happiness all the time we choose to always tend towards the material things and we choose to receive unhappiness but we when we choose krishna then immediately happiness starts coming because krishna is out here desperate here to give happiness to you and me his loving parts and parcels so let us actually understand this deeply and take shelter of the lord try our best it's a long process it's not short term process getting married is a short term process to give short term happiness but getting married to krishna is a long term process to give long term happiness so why we keep trying to search happiness in the material world why don't we understand it intellectually and actually understand that there is nothing in the material world i am supposed to only do my duties if it gives happiness fine if it doesn't give happiness okay it's not supposed to give happiness anyways but my duty original duty is to be attached to krishna chant his holy name serve the devotees hear the holy holy katha of the lord immerse myself as a priority as a topmost priority of my life i should connect with my lord and then this so called loving relationship loving things will keep come and will keep coming and keep going and you will just keep observing oh one happiness came one happiness went sorrow came sorrow went but krishna consciousness and the joy of krishna consciousness is remaining with me is not leaving me let me connect myself to the lord every single morning every single day and every single human life that i am awarded let me connect myself to the lord hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 
राम राम हरे हरे थैंक यू वेरी मच एनी बडी हैज एनी क्वेश्चन आई विल राइट टू आंसर हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू वेरी मच